Leos, what's going on? It's your girl here, Miss Hawaii. This is going to be your general love reading for June 29th of 2024. How are you guys doing? How are you feeling? I want to welcome you all to Miss Hawaii Tarot if it's your first time here. And if you're coming back, you a real one for coming and rocking with your girl again, Leo. I missed you guys. What's happening in your love life? Social media. Unappreciated? Somebody making you feel unappreciated? Priority? Crush? Somebody's name is Pamela. Gabrielle, disrespect. Third party and one night stand. What the hell? Unappreciated priority. You want somebody to prioritize you. You want somebody to put you first. There's something about a third party here. Ugh, I hate this card. I want to burn it and spit on it. There's something about a third party here. I don't know if, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to clarify these. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Deborah B. She got me a new tarot deck through my Amazon wish list. Thank you for that. I was like, oh, I got a package. I was thinking it was some clothes I ordered. I said, somebody got me something. I saw that Amazon package. I said, the Amazon packaging. I said, oh, somebody must have got me something. So I always get excited. Thank you guys. Anybody who's ever got me anything from my wish list, thank you. I don't even think that deck was on my wish list. I think there's a way now with Amazon, you don't have to have somebody can buy you a gift without it being on your wish list. So I think that's cool. So let's see. It's almost Leo season next month, baby. What is this social media? What's going on on social media, Leo? Somebody's watching you, page of swords in reverse. It could be an Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini. Somebody you haven't talked to, you're not speaking to. I don't know if it's intentional or you guys just haven't spoke, but they, they're still keeping tabs on you. They're planning on reaching out, but it's something about your social media. What's unappreciated? Yeah, it could be, some of y'all could be an Aquarius. Two of cups in reverse, the page of cups in reverse, or it could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person acts very emotionally immature. They could be younger than you. You're feeling like it's one-sided. You feel the connection more than them. You want this person, person, you want this person to show you more that they're interested in you. Somebody's name could be Shelly, Maria. What's the priority card? The judgment. The lovers, ooh, and the sun, there's your energy, woo. Leo, Scorpio, and Gemini here. Um, yeah, you, you feel a strong connection with somebody. They make you happy. You, you just want them to show you more that they want you in their life. You want them to make you a priority, point blank period. You're the Leo, you wanna be the center of their world. <laughs> well, maybe not the center of their world. That sounds kind of too much, even though some of y'all, I know that's what you want. But not all of you, you, you just want this person to show you, to just prioritize you more. There's nothing wrong with that, Leo. You know, you a Leo, you got to feel the love and attention. What's the crush card, Leo? I got a crush on you, my baby. The magician, the emperor. The two of pentacles in reverse. Somebody is crushing on you. It could be an Aries or a Gemini. I feel like they, they could have been like talking to other people, but they are focused on you. The magician means they're trying to make it happen, but the emperor is here. This person likes to be in control. What's the third party though? The eight of wands in reverse. The six of swords, the 10 of pentacles. Some of y'all block somebody. You could have blocked a third party or you could have blocked somebody that had a third party or some type of third party situation. You could be moving away from this person. Hmm. If somebody was dealing with a third party, I see them blocking this person. Or are they going to stop talking to this person so they could focus on you? 
God bless the child that's got his own. I don't know what that one night stand is on the bottom, though. That got his own. Y'all know about that. But God bless the child that's got his own. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Okay, don't just be staring at me. <laughs> I know you think I'm cute and all that, but don't just be staring at me. Hit the like button, subscribe, comment, share, tell a friend. Tell a friend about Mr. White to roll. Tell a friend. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's going on with my Leos. I'm hear you roar. Leos. Let's see, Leo. Let's see. The King of Cups. Some water sign got feelings for you. They love you. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody want to be back on good terms with you. Oh, you got somebody else coming up here. You got two people in your energy. King of Pentacles. Earth, um, yeah, an earth sign. A Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn. You got more than one person in your energy, Leo. Oh, the Ace of Cups. New love. Let me find out. The Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Ooh. You got a hater, hater alert, hater alert. The emperor, bottom of the deck, the devil in reverse. I like it. Capcom energy right there. Okay. Let's use the new deck. I'm holding it backwards. My girl Deborah got from me. Oh, I love a new deck. It smells so fresh and so clean, clean. It's called the 88 Gemstones Tarot Deck. Never heard of it, but I like it. I like it. I like how it's gold on the side. So you know this is a new deck, so I got to twist it and shuffle it a few times. So just bear with me. But in the meantime... Members, y'all got a, a reading coming tonight. It's going to be late, but I'm doing it tonight after I finish my reading. So look out for a new member's reading tonight. Patreon, I'm doing y'all video tomorrow. So look out for that for tomorrow. And probably be going live tomorrow. Make sure you guys email MissHawaiiReadings at gmail.com if you want to book a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me. Make sure you guys are aware that the contest is over to win a free personal reading. So it ended on the 23rd. So those of you that are still leaving the comments, hashtag Miss Hawaii rocks. I appreciate the support, but just recognize that that will not count as an entry towards the contest. Okay. The contest was closed out on the 23rd. So I just want to make sure everybody knows I'm still getting the names together to announce the winner. So just bear with me. I'll have that soon. Like I said before, well, the end of the month, which is in a few days, the beginning of July. So hopefully before I go away in July, I will do it. But just be patient. It's coming. Okay. Sorry it took so long. Make sure you guys are following me on Instagram and TikTok. Miss Hawaii Tarot. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So who is this King of Cups? Whether male or female. The Seven of Wands in reverse. Okay. The King of Wands. Oh, this person is very attracted to you. The Three of Cups in reverse. Hmm. They think you're fine. They're seeing you as this King of Wands. I don't know why the Three of Cups is in reverse. Either they think you got a third party or 
There's something about a third party around them. But I see they've let their guard down for you. But And they do have a lot of feelings for you. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio person. Tell me more about this person, please. The justice in reverse, the nine of swords. Why are they stressed out about their feelings for you? They're stressed out about their feelings for you. Whoever this is, justice in reverse, Libra energy. They could be feeling like, I don't know, maybe they feel like you're going to do them wrong. You're going to hurt them. Maybe this person has been done wrong. What's the five of pentacles in reverse? Who wants to get back on good terms with you, Leo? The moon? Whoa, that flew out. You saw that? The moon could be a cancer, a Pisces, the seven of cups, the strength, or another Leo with the three of swords. Oh, this somebody that hurt you. They're not making it known that they want to be back on good terms with you because the moon is here, but they've definitely been thinking about it with the seven of cups. They feel like you have a lot of options, so they don't even know if you would be open to that. This is somebody that hurt you with the three of swords. They've been dreaming about you. Now, who is this other person, this possible earth sign? Mm, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Judgment in reverse, four of wands. This is an ex, past lover. Excuse me. Who? Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Tell me more about this other person. Eight of pentacles in reverse, the two of swords. Why are they here? It's somebody that got money, that's doing well financially, but why are they in your energy? Eight of pentacles in reverse. They're not putting in any effort towards you and them. It wasn't stable between you and them. Two of swords. They're trying to block out their feelings for you. The nine of pentacles tried to pop out. This is somebody that's all about money. The emperor in reverse, the three of pentacles. Yeah, there, there's something about this person. I don't know if they're, they're like a business owner or they just very financially stable. Emperor in reverse, Aries energy. Some of y'all could be your child's father, your child's mother. That's not for all of you. But it's just telling me there's some like past lover who has a lot of money, who's all about work. They might be thinking about reaching out to you for some type of business venture. For some of you, they work a lot. That's all it's telling me. You're clearly on their mind. What's the wheel of fortune in reverse? Hmm. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Ace of Swords in reverse. Ten of Wands in reverse. Somebody you're not speaking to is getting karma. They having a they having a rough time. I don't know who this is. Could be a Sagittarius. Tell me more about this person. Life has not been treating them good. They feel like it all started once you guys stopped speaking. King of Cups in reverse. Could be a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Page of Swords. They're watching you still. They're keeping tabs on you. I don't know. It's just telling me this person is not in a good place in life. You got a lot of people coming through. What's this new love with this Ace of Cups? The Three of Swords. Oh, God. The Five of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords. What the fuck? Some of y'all got somebody new coming your way or new in your energy, but this person is damaged. <laughs> they got trust issues. They've had their heart broken. They've been abandoned. They've got abandonment issues. They've got pain that they haven't healed. Some of y'all got some new person, Leo, coming your way. That's a fucking mess. They're not a bad person. They just... They come with a lot of baggage. The nine of cups, the nine of swords. Something about the ninth here. Somebody could be born on the ninth. Um, you got the 15th here to the fourth. The Yeah, the fifth, 17th. The nine of cups. 
That's my phone vibrating. Let me put it over here. Because <laughs> it vibrates so loud when I have it here. Yeah, this person, they come with a lot of issues. They may even have some mental health stuff going on. They may even have some financial shit going on. But I feel like you make them feel happy. They might be like very emotionally like dependent on you. Just watch out for some new person. They may need to like go through some healing first before you and them get involved. You know what I mean? They come with a lot of baggage. Yeah, they're very insecure, but it's because this person has been like really betrayed in love. Like love has really done a number on them. So sad. You know, what's this nine of pentacles in reverse? Yeah, this is going back to that past person that's having going through a lot of tr like troubles here. They could be going through money issues. You just this person with the six of wands in reverse. They are not in a good place in their life. They could be feeling like a failure in life. Could be karma for something they did to you, how they treated you in the past. They also can't let you go with the six of cups in reverse and the hangman. I guess whatever this person is going through. This setback they're having, it's making them really like, you know, the hangman is about looking at things differently. Maybe they're starting to see their ways. They're starting to look back on things they've done that weren't the best. Certain ways they've treated people, not just you. Sometimes the universe got to whip your ass for you to see like, yeah, this person is, they going through it with the five of cups. They also miss you. Ace of Wands, the Chariot. They feel like you've started over, like you're not thinking about them, you're over them. You were like the most exciting thing in this person's life with the Ace of Wands. Like you were the excitement in this person's life. Who is this hater you got with this Queen of Swords? Somebody talking about you behind your back. Somebody jealous of you, Knight of Cups in reverse. Hermit in reverse. Somebody's jealous that... <laughs> You live your life, which is sick. They might have come up in other readings. This is somebody who they could even pretend to be spiritual. You know, those be the biggest phonies. Um, they could be a Virgo, but they're jealous that you're the hermit in reverse, that you live your life. Some of you, you travel, you go out, you do things. They're jealous of that. You're also drama free with the five of wands in reverse. Or maybe some of you know this person is talking about you and you just don't care and that's bothering them. Oh, I don't like the magician in reverse. They could be lying, telling people that you're a witch or a warlock. <laughs> if they know you're into spirituality, they could be lying, telling people you do witchcraft. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, you got a hater here, a serious hater. They could be telling people that you a fake spiritualist. They could be making up all types of shit about you. Mm. Who is this emperor? Two of Pentacles. Ten of Swords. Four of Cups. Somebody feels rejected by you. I don't know who this is. Could be an Aries. Because you got the Four of Cups on the bottom here. Somebody feels rejected by you. They feel like... You don't want them. Maybe some of you did reject this person because you felt like they had too many holes. The star in reverse, you see? It's bothering them though. Aquarian energy. It's like affecting them, like making them like making them feel a certain way about themselves. The Wheel of Fortune. This person usually has like good things happen to them in love. But for some reason, they feel rejected by you. How do you feel about whoever this is? The Five of Swords in reverse. The King of Pentacles in reverse. The Lovers in reverse. Oh, so they're right. You don't want them. You don't want them. 
you're keeping it peaceful though. Like you're not like with the five of swords in reverse, like you're not playing no mind games or leading them on. Some of you feel like this person is too materialistic. They could be an earth sign. They could be a Gemini. They could be an Aries. Could be somebody that has their own business or something. Sometimes people, they feel like when they have like so many good things going for themselves, like they're good looking, they got money, they think everybody's supposed to want them. You have to understand, boo, boo, everybody ain't going to want you. Everybody ain't going to want you. I don't care how good looking your body is, how attractive you are, how much money you got, how many social media follow. It's going to be somebody that's going to say, mm -mm, that's not my cup of tea. And that's okay. Everybody don't want me. Everybody don't want you. Everybody don't want this one. Everybody, you know what I mean? That's life, but that's okay because the person that's for you is going to want you. You know what I'm saying? But it seemed like it's bothering this person. What's the devil in reverse? Three of Pentacles. Some of you Leos are just focusing on yourself, focusing on work, not getting caught up in no type of toxic shit right now. Some of y'all, there's somebody at your job that wants you, but they feel like if y'all were to start messing around, it would get toxic and they don't want to do that. They just want to keep it professional. I don't know who that's for. I just heard the name Erica, Devin, Zania. They think about you all the time. I don't know what Leo this is for. Y'all work together or it's something about work. If y'all don't work together, it's something about work. I don't know if you come to their job, but they feel like, it's better for y'all to not get involved because they feel like it will turn toxic. And I get it. You know that phrase, don't shit where you eat. It's not good to get involved with people that, you know, where work is related. Because when shit, start, you know, turns sour, it could be an issue. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe this person has dealt with that before. Could be a cancer. Maybe this person has dealt with that before in the past. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe they did deal with somebody and it was work related and it went sour and they could have lost their job, anything like that. Hmm. All right, let's go to the extended now, Leo. Thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that like button, please. Comment, subscribe, share. Tell a friend about Miss Hawaii Tarot. If you wanna join me in the extended reading, the link is below in the description box. And in the extended reading, we're going to pull Oracle cards for you to see what's happening in your love life in the future. We will pull tarot and we will get you some advice, Leo. Yeah. So I hope to see you guys there. If not, thank you for tuning in. I love you all. I'm praying for you. Don't forget if you want to become a member or join my astrology Patreon, check out the description box below. Thank you for all your donations. Okay. Thank you for all your love, all your support. I appreciate and value all of you. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. Have fun, be safe. And um, thanks for your patience in getting you this reading. All right. I will see you guys in the extended reading, Leo. If not, I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you again for being here. And I'll see you soon. Bye.